Hi, preschool friends. Welcome back to chapel for this week. We're so glad that you guys have joined us. Today we're going to start by singing our chapel song. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. We'll start as quiet as we possibly can. Here we go. That was super good. We mm -hmm. have some really quiet singers. Excellent job. Are you guys ready to sing nice and loud now with us? But remember, we I don't scream. scream. Nope. And we use our beautiful singing voices. All right. So with the most beautiful singing voices that you have, let's sing our chapel song. God the Father, God the Father, God the Son, God the Son. God the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit, three in one, three in one. Excellent gotcha. job. Um, can I ask you before we start chapel, why is the world behind us? Because <laughs> we are going to play a very fun game today Ooh, for chapel. I like games. Yes, me too. So, friends, when Miss Lyons and I were younger, maybe like your age or a little bit older, a very fun TV show that they had was called where in the world is, is Carmen San, San Diego? You have to sing the theme song mm -hmm. when you do it. Mm -hmm. But what they did is they had Carmen, Carmen San Diego, somewhere in the world. And you had to put on your detective hats and you had to use the clues and figure out where she is. So that's the game we're going to play today. We're going to play Where in the World are Miss Lyons and Mrs. Green. Nice. So we are going to give you guys three clues to see if you can figure out where we are before we show you the exact location. Okay. Are you guys ready? Detective hats on. Here we go. All right. All right. So my first clue is that we are in a very large outdoor space. Ooh, my backyard. No, even bigger than your backyard. What? Okay. All right. Keep thinking pre-K friends. Mm. All right. Next clue. I see swings. Oh, you are definitely at the lake uh, with a rope swing on a tree. Ooh, you know, that sounds really fun, like swinging yeah. out into the water. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun, but no, that's not where we're at. Mm -hmm. Preschool friends, what do you think? Any good ideas yet? Mm -hmm. All right, my last clue. I see a slide. Ooh, I think I know where we are, but do you guys know where we are? Yes, isn't it obvious we had to be at the park and at the playground? It's so obvious once you have the clues. All right, are you ready for our next location? We're gonna travel somewhere else now. Okay. All right, so for our next location, I see elephants. Ooh, we're at the circus. No, <laughs> no, but that would be fun. Aww. I can't wait to go to a circus again. Hmm. All right, clue number two, I see a polar bear. Oh, I was gonna guess the jungle, but Polar bears are in the Arctic and not mm -hmm. the jungle. So I'm going to guess that we are in Alaska. Mm -hmm. Are there no... a lot of elephants in Alaska? Well, normally you don't see elephants and polar bears in the same place mm -hmm. together. Oh, I bet we're at Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark. That would be fun. All right. Clue number three. I see a hippo. Ooh, I wanted one of those for Christmas. Um, okay, elephant, polar bear, and hippo. I think I know where we are. Do you guys know where we are? If you guys know, shout it out. Where do you think we could be where all three of those animals are all together? Hmm. Yes, isn't it obvious we had to be at the zoo? Yes. All of those. Where else are you going to find all those animals in the exact same place living in harmony? <laughs> all right, last guess. Are you guys ready? This is our last location. All right, so first, I see chairs. Uh, my house. <laughs> We're still at your house? Sure. <laughs> well, there are probably chairs at your house, mm -hmm. but that is not where we are today. Mm. Okay. All right, second, I see pencils and crayons. Oh, you know what? I think we are, ooh, maybe at church? Mm. Chairs, pencils, yeah. crayons, maybe yeah. Sunday school? Maybe Sunday school, that's true. Mm. Preschool friends, do you have any ideas yet or do you need one more clue? How about one more clue? All right, I see 
a teacher. Oh, I definitely know where we are now. Do you guys know where we are? What do you think, preschool friends? Have you guessed? Wasn't it obvious we had to be at school? Absolutely, all of these clues gave us ideas of where Miss Lyons and I were. Mrs. Green, how does this tie into our uh, chapel lesson for today though? What's our Bible story about that we are all over the world? Yeah, well our Bible story today talks about how Mary, Jesus' mm -hmm. mom, Joseph, his earthly dad, and Jesus had all gone to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. And while they were there, it was a huge week-long festival, mm -hmm. big parties, lots and lots of people. And when it was time to go home, they all got packed up and left. But they don't travel like you and I travel. You don't just hop in your car with your mom and dad and leave. Instead, they would travel in huge groups of people called caravans. It could be a hundred people sometimes mm. traveling all together. It's a big group. It is a big group. So you don't always know if the person that you came with is just with somebody else in the group or right next to you or not. And so what happened is Jesus actually got left behind. He got left in the city of Jerusalem. Oh and that's where we'll start with our story. All right, so our story today comes from Luke chapter 2. When Jesus was about 12 years old, his mother and father took him to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover, the festival which reminded the Jews of how God had rescued them from slavery in Egypt so many years before. For one whole week, the city was filled to bursting. At the end of this time, Mary and Joseph set off with a host of other people, but on the way, they realized that Jesus was missing. Frantic with worry, they rushed back to the crowded city to search for him. At last, on the third day of searching, they found him in the temple courts, talking with the teachers of the law, who were amazed at how much he knew. Jesus, cried his parents, we've been so worried about you. But why were you looking for me, answered the young boy. Surely you knew that I had to be in my father's house. For while Jesus loved Mary and Joseph dearly, he understood that God was his father in a very special way. All right, so I have one more guessing game Yay! for you guys now after our story. So are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, so where in the world are Miss Lyons and Mrs. Green? Okay. I see a candle. Ooh, your office? I do have some candles in my office mm -hmm. or like a birthday party, but no, Ooh, okay. not, not those. All right, I see an organ, which is the thing that Mrs. Waller plays. It's a really big like piano with pipes. Ooh. Um, that's a hard one because you don't find organs very many places except for like that pizza place. Oh yeah, the pizza place or a circus, you know, or you know what? The Brewer game. Oh, Doesn't yeah. he play like yeah. roll out the barrel or something? That would be fun. Okay. But no, that's not where we are. Oh. All right, last clue. Okay. I see a cross. Oh, I know where we are. I've got this one. Do you guys have this one? Do you know where we are? Candle, organ, cross. Isn't it obvious? We were in our Father's house. It's here when we are gathered around God's word and studying his word for us that we find out that God has forgiven us for our sins and that he has great big love for all of us. And here, when we talk about God's word and gathering together, we hear about how God is sending us out into the world to tell other people about his big love for them too and how we can serve them. It's so obvious. We had to be in our Father's house. And I love being in our Father's house. With that being said, my friends, will you fold your hands and pray with me, please? Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, I am so glad, I am so glad, that I get to be in your house, that I get to be in your house, and learn about, and learn about your great big love, your great big love for me, for me. Help me, help me to tell others, to tell others about this great, about this great big love for them, big love for them. In your name we pray, in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a great day, preschool friends. Bye friends.